Hi, this is Christy with webprofitvideos.com and today I'm going to do a tutorial on doing an outlining of your text for your header graphics. Now I'm going to do this for Paint Shop Pro because most of them I found were Photoshop. I am far from a graphic designer and so this was actually something exciting for me to learn and maybe there's a few of you who are as experienced in graphics as I am and will appreciate learning this. So here I am using Paint Shop Pro version 8, I believe, which is an older one, I'm sure. Um, but hopefully it'll still give you an idea on how to, you'll still have the same tools that you can use. And I'm going to open up a new project here. Just give it a white background if that's the color of your header graphic. So what we're going to do is uh, just put some text in there. For this example, we'll just use the name of my site, webprofitvideos.com. Once you have, uh, you can of course change it by highlighting here. Let's move things up. Once you have your words in there, highlight the text, change the uh, font to anything you want. And of course change the size and so forth. And I'm going to go ahead and set my background color by right clicking here to black. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to hit apply. And then I'm going to move this, there we go, with the little arrows, to put it wherever I want it to be. Now once you've done that, you're going to leave this selected, don't unselect it, and you're going to go up to selections, load and save selection, and then go down to save selection as alpha channel. Uh, we have a selection one, and we're just going to hit save. Now you're going to hit your delete key. All right, and then we're going to go back up there, selections, load and save, but this time we're going to load. If you've done several of these, you might have a few selection items. In this case, you would choose from here whichever one it is. We only have the one, so we can hit load. You need to uh, choose what colors you're going to use for the different layers that surround the text. And I'm going to do the example that we had on the front here of black, white, and blue. So my background is going to be a black, which you right click to choose your background. And then what I'm going to do is go up to uh, selections again, modify, and choose feather. Now, in the link I provide on my web page, um, I have a link to a site that taught me how to do this. And it has some different uh, feathering uh, pixels and so forth. So you can play around with this like I did and the number of times you delete in the next steps and see what's, what works best for you. So I'm going to hit 10 for feathering. And hit OK. And now you're going to hit your delete key as many times as you need to, to fill in how, many, how, how much you want the background to be filled in. So I'm actually going to do mine 10 times because I don't want any space between and so forth. I want it to be nice and filled in so that I only get the upper and lower outlining of the text. Next step I want to do is the white. So again, I'm going to do selection, load, make sure you choose the right one, hit load, change my background to white by right clicking and then go to our feathering, modify, feather. On this one, I'm going to choose only four. Hit OK. Then hit delete again. In this case, I'm going to do five. Again, how far you want it to fill in. I just leave a slight black background. And now I'm going to do one more layer. Selections load, get the right one, load, change background to a blue. At this time I'm not going to feather because I just want it to be one solid color. Again, play around and see what works best for you. That's the way I learned. Oops, I need to select this box here and then hit delete one time. And there's my blue.
All right, so I could do that uh, feather a little more in order to spread it out and hit the lead a couple times if I wanted to. In fact, I might go back through and do that because with this font, I might want to spread out a little more. But let's see how that looks. So now I'm going to get rid of the selection so I can see the picture clearly. Select none. Now you can leave it like that. Uh, this down here is not going to stay there. It's just a, um, a remnant from the formatting I was doing. It's not going to stay in the image. So you can leave a fuzzy outline like this. But if you'd like to clean it up like I prefer to do, you can go to Image. Sorry. You can go to Effects. Edge Effects. And do Enhance. There you go. See, it made it dark in the black. It made it a little more crisp looking. So that's the way I like it. So there we go. We've got some nice light outlining effects. Got the white in between the blues. And we can do all different shades of color here to make it more uh, colorful if we prefer. So there's a nice text effect that you might want to add to some of your head graphics.